breaking news. More than a week after the Titan submersible imploded, killing all five on board, crews in Canada have recovered pieces of the wreckage and brought them to shore. Joining us now is NBC News correspondent Ron Allen. Ron, walk us through what we're seeing in these newly released photos and how were crews able to actually recover this debris? Uh, there's been a crew out on a salvage ship out there in the North Atlantic for the last 10 days or so uh, using an underwater robotic device, uh, which is the device that was used to find the wreckage in the first place. Um, they've been able to lift it from the bottom of the Atlantic, some 12 to 13,000 feet deep on the bottom, uh, near the wreckage of the Titanic, which is, again, two and a half miles down or so. Uh, and they've brought some of this to the surface. It appears to be pretty big chunks. It's wrapped in tarps and other material. It's unclear exactly which pieces of the Titan craft it is. Uh, some of it appears to be part of the nose cone or the back cone. Uh, and again, they're fairly significant sized chunks, which is a bit surprising because, remember, there was what was described as a, a catastrophic implosion about an hour and 45 minutes into its voyage, its journey down uh, into the depths of the Atlantic uh, last week, killing five uh, people aboard. Uh, but it's somewhat remarkable. They've been able to pull this wreckage up. Um, the operation out there is over, we understand, and now this will all, all be turned over to investigators who are trying to determine uh, what caused this to happen. Yeah, Ron, walk us through what we know about how investigators will approach determining what happened here. It appears the U.S. Coast Guard is going to take the lead on this. Remember, it happened in international waters, but an area where the U.S. was patrolling and doing search and rescue operations. Uh, the Canadians are also involved in this. Uh, remember, it's a multinational operation. The victims are from several different countries. And again, this was in international waters. Uh, the, the focus is on the craft itself. Remember, there were warnings and there were concerns raised about its construction, about the material that is made out of carbon fiber. Uh, the, the pilot of the ship, uh, the CEO of the company, Stockton Rush, uh, uh, had been warned and criticized by people in the maritime industry who suggested that this was not the way to do this kind of voyage, even though he had done this about 12 times. This was the 13th, uh, uh, 13th journey down to the Titanic. Uh, but a lot of focus on the design, the materials, and whether, in fact, this should have even happened. Um, again, the U.S. Coast Guard taking the lead, looking even also at whether there should be any criminal actions taken as a result of all this. All right. Ron Allen, thank you for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.